Before I fill in the gear oil, I would like to install a small part on the engine, namely this one. This is a vent for the clutch. It was developed by Christian of Salem Speed. Greetings at this point. He developed this piece for SIP and it has the advantage that it means less oil splashing or drooling from the gearbox ventilation system. I'm taking out the old ventilation screw and install this hose. What's neat about this thing is that there's a little sinter filter at the front here, which prevents oil from leaking through. This is particularly useful with the BFA motor, because the BFA motor contains significantly more transmission oil than a standard PX motor, namely 450 milliliters instead of 250 milliliters. Therefore, the installation of such a small part is very recommendable. Here you can see the original ventilation screw. It is basically a tube with a cap on top. But that means if all wants to get out of there with pressure, then it just squirts out of there and unfortunately also in the direction of the tires. With this part from Salem Speed, this risk is eliminated. Due to this hose, I can put the filter wherever I want on the engine. A little tip from me on the side though, it's best to do that before you install the engine, not afterwards because then it's just totally annoying. This hose can now basically be attached wherever I want. This place here is a very good solution, for example. That way the filter sits relatively far away from the tire and if, despite everything, some oil should still get out, then it just doesn't splash on the tire. All right, transmission oil should definitely not be missing. Very important, the BFA motor uses 450 milliliters instead of the standard 250 milliliters. And BFA recommends using 10W30 gear oil or 15W40. I have 10W30 here now. And now I'll fill this in here. When I fill this in, you can hear how the ventilation works. <laughs> The sound was a little drowned out, but I have to fill in a second bottle and then I can show it again. Do you want to hear it again? Now you could hear it blow briefly. There, listen again. Okay, engine ventilation works too. Don't forget to close this little hole here with the screw again. That's to make sure that nothing will spill out despite the 450 milliliters. That's why the thing is up there. What is missing now, of course, is the flywheel cover. And with the BFA motor, that's also slightly different from other engines. I'll show you that. The BFA motor uses a flywheel cover of a Vespa T5. This is important because these are a little flatter than others. And here you can see that it fits pretty well. For the cylinder cowling, we also use the T5 version. Unfortunately, I only have this one here, which I found somewhere deep down in the scrap boxes of my workshop. But until new ones are available again, I have to work with this now, just for testing reasons. And if you have the two things, cylinder calling and flywheel cover screwed on, then you notice that there is a little gap. But for that, BFA provided and included this metal sheet, which is already pre bent Now you can connect both parts with that and have a single part again. For this, however, it is necessary that I drill additional holes, both one in the cylinder cowling as well as one in the flywheel cover. I'll start with that now. I just fixed the metal sheet here briefly with two screws, so I know where the third hole has to go. Now I can mark where the third hole has to go. Now I remove this again and do the same with the cylinder cowling. Well, so this cylinder cowling will certainly not stay on there for too long. I just use it now because nothing else is at hand and like that I at least can showcase to you how this sheet is adjusted. The middle hole needs to be drilled. I've marked that now. Now I can take this part off again. There's the first marking and here's the second, which I will mark in a moment. 
And now I will start drilling. Fertig. Okay, hole's done. That hole's done too. I will screw this together with two screws. The others will come when the flywheel is on the scooter. And the others first when the when the when the lifter on the roller is. All right, time to assemble this. To the screw up here, I will attach the ventilation hose as well. Now, the cylinder cowling can be screwed onto the small adapter plate using the three holes with the threaded inserts. Well, now it's all put together, even if it all looks very, very horrible. But as I said, this will be replaced soon and then it will be looking good. Now the engine is almost finished and I can try soon how the scooter works, whether it starts and do a first test drive. If you don't want to miss that, then press the little bell. To get the notifications, you also have to be a subscriber though. So subscribe to the channel, leave us a like and then I'll see you next time for the first kick. Until then, bye! Thank <laughs> you.